Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Caro, and today I'm bringing you a five minute recap of the first episode of The Flight Attendant on HBO Max. Let's begin. We open on our friend, the flight attendant, making her way through a busy airport. We smash cut to her living her best life around the world. New York, shots, dancing, Germany, shots, brulesque, Iceland, ski shots, Amsterdam, karaoke, Tokyo, shots, 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 more shots. We meet up with her once again and she's passed out drunk in a train car, presumably making her way home after a night of partying in New York City. She gets home to a pretty barren and sad apartment and receives a phone call from her brother, played by George from Grey's Anatomy. He and his family are expecting to visit in four days. She's rummaging through her apartment as she's speaking to her brother, trying to get ready because she's about to miss a flight. She turns around and there's a guy in her bed that she didn't remember was there. She ends up boarding the plane right on time and we get to meet her friend, Rosie Perez. The flight attendant is assigned to first class today, so of course she catches the eye of a single passenger and there's some sort of flirtation. The first class passenger makes up an excuse to come talk to her and naturally they end up having sex in the bathroom because why wouldn't you? It's not like it's a cesspool of germs or anything. In addition to Rosie Perez, her crew consists of black girl flight attendant and gay guy flight attendant. They finally land and flirty passenger, who will henceforth be known as 3C, asks her out to dinner. They land in an Asian country. I wanna say Thailand. She sneaks down to the lobby past her co-workers and goes out to meet 3C. Eventually, they end up in a fancy penthouse with an amazing view and they do what they came here to do. Daylight comes and her alarm wakes her up. The room is in complete disarray. She gets out of bed, opens the curtains, takes in the beautiful view, and immediately finds a bloody stain on her hand. She turns around to ask 3C what the fuck happened. He obviously can't answer because, well, he is dead. That's right. He was lying next to her in a puddle of blood. She picks up the hotel phone and dials the lobby, leaving a bloody fingerprint in the process. She comes to her senses, hangs up the phone, and calls her friend in New York City instead. She asks her if Amanda Knox called the cops when her friend was found murdered in Italy. Her friend jokes that you definitely do not want to get arrested in a place like Bangkok. The friend gets a phone call on some shady flip phone and tells her that she has to go and wishes her safe travels home. This dumbass decides to clean up the crime scene and cuts her foot on a glass bottle, sprinkling even more DNA around the hotel room. George calls and says he's gonna take the kids to the museum she was supposed to take them to, implying that he has no faith in her getting her shit together in time for their visit. She's finished with the cleanup, leaves the hotel and decides to buy a scarf. She makes it back to her hotel room in time for Rosie Perez to knock at her door. It's time to go to work. Once again, she's about to miss a flight. She gets downstairs to the lobby. The bus with her crew has already left for the airport. She has to jump on a bus with another random crew to take her to the airport and freaks out when she sees a motorcade of Thailand police. She finally boards the plane safely, but is super paranoid because there's a delay in the takeoff. Flashback to the hotel room and dead guy cutthroat and all, is walking her through her breakdown. A mysterious woman calls the hotel asking for 3C. We only get to see the back of her head though. She asks for housekeeping to do a wellness check in his room because they were supposed to meet earlier and he never showed up. Of course, the housekeeper walks in and screams bloody murder when she finds the corpse. The entire flight crew teased the flight attendant about going out with 3C the night before, but she denies the entire thing. Meanwhile, back in New York, the FBI are on the case and contact 3C's mom to give her the bad news. The flight attendant lands in Korea for a layover and as soon as Wi-Fi is available, the entire crew finds out that the businessman in 3C was murdered the night before. The flight attendant decides to stay in the hotel room for the night. She wants to be alone. She drinks and drinks and drinks and drinks and drinks. We flash back to the night before where C3 tells her that he's not a fan of dating because he always makes bad choices. We get flashes of her drinking beer at 10 years old with her dad after shooting a deer. Now it turns out her ID is also missing. 
but one guess as to where it probably is. She calls her friend in New York again and now it's revealed that she is a fancy lawyer. She's having some sort of shady meeting at a dock with an old man who has like a bloody fist. Rosie Perez lets a flight attendant know that they're all expected to stay by the gate because the authorities want to speak to them in regards to the murder. Of course, our brilliant protagonist tries to flee and runs through the airport trying to escape, but TSA foils her plans. The FBI interviews the flight crew and all those shady bitches tell them that the flight attendant took care of and heavily flirted with 3C. Finally, it's the flight attendant's turn. The agents ask her if she ever saw 3C outside of the airport. She denies it. 3C pops up in her subconscious and we flash back to them at dinner the night of the murder. Turns out there was another woman at the table with them, but her face is blurred, so we don't know who it is. Who is she? The flight attendant doesn't know. Did she kill him? New episodes of The Flight Attendant will be airing every Thursday through December 17th on HBO Max. Did you watch the pilot episode? Will you continue to watch the entire season? Let me know in the comments. For now, like, subscribe, follow, share, drink some water until I see you next time.